this one's mine, that one's yours. How would you know? I packed all your stuff while you were sleeping. I'm Jake, this is Liz. Siblings? No, just friends, we carpooled. I'm Abby, and this is my adopted brother, Mike. You have to say that every time we meet someone. Nice to meet you. Thanks. What's your name? Well, I'm Isaac. Where do you guys go to school? Abby and I go to Port Richmond in New York. Cool. You're from Rodoa High, Arkansas? Was that some ghetto school? <laughs> no, it's kind of high up there, like uniforms and stuff. Anyway, I'm from Medina High School in Minnesota. We're from Belmont, about 20 miles from here. Hi. Isn't it cool that Washington State got its first class ticket? Yeah, yeah. I think I deserve one after all that studying. <laughs> yeah, so how many other students are competing? 14, 20 total, and there are three different awards, so each of us has a good chance of winning. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Air America Flight 136. We will be departing shortly, and I'd like to extend a welcome to all of our first-time flyers. I would like to extend a special welcome to the six lucky winners of the Central East Butler Foundation Scholarship Contest. These specially selected high school seniors are on their way to Washington to compete for the grand prize, a full ride to the college of their choice, and a $100,000 cash prize. Woo! We are flying nonstop to the Seattle airport and should arrive around 5 p.m. local time. Hey, you want to hear something funny? I was flying to Montgomery once, and there's this huge fat guy. I mean, biggest dude I've ever seen. He literally took up half the seat. I'm not joking. And then he fell asleep, and it and it just wasn't like one of those little, you know, close your eyes, take a nap, sleep. No, this guy was out like a rock, and he <laughs> snored the whole time. <laughs> How long did I go on for? The whole flight. <laughs> wow. Lucky you. Yeah. So what are you going to do if you win? I don't know. Probably won't win. Well, you won't if you don't try. Seriously though, what are you gonna do with it? I don't know. It sounds dumb. No, go ahead, tell me. Buy my girlfriend a new car, put the rest in savings. Wow. A, your girlfriend? You'd buy her a car? Are you kidding? No. At least see, she used to have this real nice Mustang, but then uh, one day she got hit by this drunk guy. I mean, she was fine, thank God, but that was good. the car was totaled. That sucks. Well, I have different plans if I win the money. Oh yeah? What's that? Well, buy a new guitar, take a trip to Ireland. <laughs> Ireland? Yeah. That's cool. Hey, Leah. Yeah? What are you going to do if you win? Go to Harvard and donate the 100000 Donate? Where? That's for me to know. And me to find out? Nope. Hey, Mike, what time is it? Well, Washington's time is 3.40. I hate flying. Why? There's a reason right there. We're not safe. Are you kidding? It's safer to fly on a plane than to drive. Did you know that? Are you sure? Ladies and gentlemen, we seem to be experiencing some slight turbulence. Please keep your seat belts fastened and we should... Please remain seated. What the heck? not just turbulence. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not panic. We appear to have lost control of one of our engines. We are going to have to make an emergency landing. Assume brace positions. No. No, no.
Yeah. Uh, Frederick Adams, president of the Butler Scholarship Competition. Isaac Fletcher listed you as his emergency contact. What happened? Friday, I have some very bad news. The flight Isaac was on crashed somewhere in Montana. It exploded on impact, and none of the main fuselage remained intact. There don't appear to be any survivors. No. If you believe in God, now would be a good time to pray for a miracle. Where, where, where are we? I don't know. After the crash, we all ran as far as we could. I got turned around. I, we're about a mile and a half way, away from the crash site. Maybe we could find our way back. Wait, where, where's Jake and Liz? I don't think they got out. The plane exploded as we were running away from it. What's with my leg? You got hit by shrapnel. When we were about 500 yards from the crash site, we got out, but you went unconscious. We had to carry you here. Is she okay? Yeah. Just exhausted emotionally from the crash and physically from carrying you. She just passed out. Well, don't you think we could make it back to the crash site? I mean, there's bound to be EMTs and, and police there by now, right? I doubt anyone there. Why? Because, because today is Tuesday. The crash happened yesterday. You were unconscious all night. We tried to wake you, but you were completely gone. They only found three recognizable bodies. What, what are their names? I'm not at liberty to divulge that information. However, I can tell you that none of them were Isaac. What about the students, the six that were flying to Washington? Nothing recognizable. Oh, no. Isaac, please pick up. We're sorry. You have reached a number that has been disconnected or is no longer in service. So what all do we have? Um, my cell phone's broken, but we've got some of the stuff that was in Mike's backpack. There's some papers and pens and candy and a pair of khaki pants. Okay. We also grabbed a lighter and a hacksaw from a tech toolbox oh, and a blanket that we found on the ground as we were running. Okay. Do we have any water? No, but... We're in the woods in the middle of Montana or somewhere, so if we find a stream, it should be clean enough to drink from. I lost my cell phone in the crash. But, but somehow my watch survived. <sighs> now I'm torn. Should we wait here or should we go looking for the crash? Normally, I would say we should stay here and wait for someone to come looking, but I saw the crash. We shouldn't have got out of that. We shouldn't, we shouldn't be alive. Okay, so then we'll put it to a vote. I vote we stay. Well, I vote we go, as long as we stick together. Yeah, I agree. Me too. We have a better chance of finding the crash than we do of someone finding us at this point. Do you remember which direction the crash was in? We ran in a fairly straight line, so... I think we came from that way. I think the crash is that way. So we go that way. Abby, what are your parents like? Well, my dad works at a hospital. My mom, she stays at home and takes care of my baby brother Sam. Aww. 
Well, she really stays home because she doesn't trust Mike. Not true. I'm more well behaved than you are. Remember that time when Josh Shut snuck? Shut up, Mike. Who's Josh? Abby's boyfriend. Ex? He's my ex-boyfriend. Whatever you say. Well, Isaac, what are your parents like? <laughs> What's that mean? Well, my dad's in prison. Um, my mom, she's at home much. She's always gone to Las Vegas or Mexico or somewhere. <laughs> Put my girlfriend down as my emergency contact if that tells you anything. I'm sorry to hear that. It's okay. Yeah, I get by. You know, it's not my mom's fault. It's just, it's just been rough on her since my dad was sent to prison. No, that's not a fun situation. Yeah, that's an understatement. Wait. Hey! Don't waste, waste your breath. You can't hear you. Just leave your arm. The signal on my. No, please come back. It's you. No. They're gone. We should be at the crash by now. We've gone at least four miles, and we're still not there. He's right. We must have gotten this wrong around. Signaling that plane was our best chance, and now it's gone. No. No. Wait. This is a good thing. How the hell is this a good thing? Because it means we're in a flight zone. I mean, planes will be flying by here and, and we can get noticed. We just have to signal them. So we should make a camp. It's not a bad idea. Mike. Yeah. How many candy bars you got in your backpack? Not many. Well, give me a number. Uh, we've got four. <laughs> I want four to each of us. It's not going to make it very far. We need to get noticed. And soon. So what do we do? We build a fire. This is good. If any planes fly over in the night, they should see this. I wouldn't count on it. We need more wood to make it bigger, to keep it going. I'll go get more wood. You, you shouldn't go alone. I'll go with you. So. Hi. So, uh, what kind of music do you like? Are you gonna be okay, Isaac? I think so. It stopped bleeding, but it still hurts. Well, it could be infected. My dad's a doctor, and he said the greatest danger to wounded castaways is infection. Look, let's not talk about this, okay? There's a nice dead tree up here somewhere with plenty of firewood. I'm sorry to hear about your family. I don't want to talk about it, okay? I mean, things are bad enough as it is. Hey, well, just don't give up. I mean, whatever you do, no matter how hard things get. You said I'm giving up. Did your brother say I'm giving up? What, why would Mike say that? Look, me and your brother, we, we don't get along all that well, okay? Let's just leave it at that. He can be a jerk sometimes, but, I mean, he really did have a rough childhood, and we adopted him when he was six, so he's got trust issues, but his heart really is in the right place, most of the time. Like, like when he told me that if I start holding everybody up, he's just going to leave me behind. I'm sure he was joking. No, he wasn't. So, if today's Thursday then we will have been boss for five whole days, if you can count the day we left. No wonder I'm so hungry. I think we'll ever make it back. Yeah, of course. But nobody's found us yet. We're almost out of food, if you can call candy bars food. Well, this is our first night with the fire. And we got two more before we move on. Besides, we got the screen for water, and humans can go weeks without food. It's really hard for a healthy person to die in the wilderness in the U.S. Where'd you learn that? Literature class, we were reading Robinson Crusoe. And afterward, our teacher told us about all this real life survival stuff. I actually told him, we didn't need none of this. There was no way any of us would need any of this stupid knowledge. Look how wrong I was.
But how could you have known? I don't know. But I just can't believe that this has really happened. And now that it's happened, I just can't believe I'm alive. And I might just make it out of this. You mind if I ask you something kind of critical? Sure. Why do you pick on Isaac? I mean, he's injured and he's had a rough time. Listen, sometimes I just don't mess with certain people real well. You Why? know? I don't know. It's just my personality. But Isaac also kind of reminds me of Abby's boyfriend, Josh, who, let me just say, was annoying as hell. And he was pretty easy to make fun of. Speaking of the devil, what's that, Abby? It's some beef jerky. What? Yeah, some hiker must have left it up here somewhere, but yeah. it's really old, but it should still be good. Nice work. Yeah, Abby found it, actually. Ah, so you were just long for the ride. Shut up, Mike. We both found it. Teamwork. Sure you did. This cause for a celebration. What's that quote? Buddhist proof God loves us? <laughs> yeah, except it was beer. Beer is proof. <laughs> Gotta love Ben Franklin. <laughs> yeah. What's wrong? This is like, I think it might be infected. It's fine, it just hurts, that's all. Let's see it. Isaac, that's really bad. That looks worse than it is. No, really, if it spreads, it could be fatal. I'll just, I'll be fine. Let's just get back to eating this jerky, huh? Just take care of yourself, man. You know what people do to a horse with an injured leg. Isaac, stop it! What are you doing? This asshole still has food! I woke up, and he was eating it all! You're not going anywhere! Stop! Mike! Stop! Please! Shut up, Abby! There's a cripple defeat it now! Call me that again! No! Guys, stop. Please. Listen, Mike, I know you're scared. We all are. I'm not scared of you. I, I didn't say you were. Just listen. What if you knew there was only one person this whole earth that really cared about you? Who really loved you? Look at Abby! Okay. Imagine that imagine that Abby wasn't here and that she thought you were dead and there was nothing you could do to let you know that you were alive. Nothing except to make it out, to, to survive. And then imagine that you can barely walk and that, that you know you're holding everybody up and you know that you might never see her again. Top of all that, you got some guy you don't even know making fun of you and stealing your food, making fun of your pain. That's how I feel right now. So we just, we just give this crap up and just, and just try to, try to make it out. Okay? Okay. Thanks. Now is it? Yeah? I, I, I'm sorry. Thanks, Mike. <laughs> and Abby came back with Josh, and he's covered in chili, <laughs> which also kind of looks like blood. So I just started freaking out, <laughs> and they just started laughing. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> that was Abby. Abby, what, what, uh, what's wrong? Are you okay? Yeah. No. I think there's no cover. It got Isaac. What happened to Isaac? It jumped on him, and I tried to get it off. We gotta go save no, him. He's gone. He's gone. They're fair and fire. I can scare it off. No.
Isaac! Fire. Why? The cougar was rabid. Put it in the fire. No. No. <laughs> We're nowhere near medical attention, which is what I need right now, okay? If we don't do something, the infection and the rabies and it will spread. <laughs> Mike, I need you to amputate my leg below the knee. I can't believe what you're about to go through. You ready? Yeah. Someone took a hacksaw to my leg. It doesn't, it doesn't feel good. We've got some good news. Really? Yeah, Leah and Mike were looking for a road while you were out. And I was waiting here to make sure no cougars got back. <laughs> and uh, they just came back to tell us. It's about a mile away. A mile? Yeah. That's not far. Mike, give me that stick. I can, I can walk part of the way. Oh, are you crazy? I'll help you. No, no. I have to, I have to start getting used to this. I, I might as well start now. I hope you still love me as much as I love you. Let's go. Guys, hold up a sec. You better get up, Ozzy, before you fall behind. <sighs> Thanks. How far do you think we are from the crash site? Fifteen miles? Yeah, Abby. Yeah? Alright. Uh, what? How many lives are okay? Because if you weren't, I have to start cleaning my own room again. <laughs> car. Car. There's a car! I didn't mean it that way. We need a ride to the hospital. It's obvious. Let's get you out of here. Jeez, you sure you're all right? Yeah. Just 
go. Is there anyone you want to call? Yeah, yeah, there is. I'm just getting the answering machine. Hi, Mom. Are you home? Okay, I guess you're not. I'm sure this call is the last thing you expected, but... Mommy, I survived! I'm coming home! If you're selling anything and we don't want it... Dream. Please tell me you're alive. They they said no one survived. I'm alive, baby. Yeah, I'm coming home. We survived.